What's going on, y'all? Get a little light going on there. There we go. JT with a quick unboxing and look at the Hobby King uh, Berserker. So this is currently out of stock for a good minute, but I went ahead and um, got one of these. And this is the kit version. Now, kit version meaning that I don't have to put everything together. It's more or less um, an almost ready to run or I, I, like some other companies say 80 percent. Um, assembled. So it does, it is assembled. I just probably got to put a couple things together, but it has no electronics. So you guys see here, they have the kit version. They have the almost ready to run version, which I believe is completely assembled without a radio. And then they have the ready to run version. So of course I went ahead and got the kit version. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to get this cracked open real quick. And y'all know we got to do it. Oh, got to love that smell of a new RC car and trying to <laughs> get this top off. So, like I said, this is the uh, almost ready to run version. And, um, wow, it looks like I got two instruction manuals. So, um, they kind of have here that light's kind of glaring just a little bit. Get this to not glare so much. They have a exploded view of it, I'm pretty sure, inside of here is instruction manuals, of course. Um, gonna be basic instruction manuals, basic instructions on the kit for it. I don't think there's any tools at all included with this. Um, of course, we got stickers, so um, kit meaning, yeah, I gotta put the stickers on it, but they did, um, they are pre-cut, so that's a good thing. I hate having to go through, these better be pre-cut. Yeah, they are, okay. Because I hate going through and taking scissors and have to cut all cut all that out. Um, some people like that. I'm not a big fan of that. So um, let me go ahead and let me pull all this out so I'm not making all this noise. And we'll be back in just a minute. All right. We got this all pulled out. So you guys ain't got to hear all that rambling around and stuff. So quick look. Like I said, this is a kit version. But it's, it's pretty much assembled. And I think this wing, this is on backwards <laughs> so i'm gonna have to flip that around they probably did just to fit that in the box but anyway um uh, i did look at a couple of uh videos and some information on this so this kit version was kind of an upgraded version and with this one i think they have 300k in the center diff and 100 in the front and rear differentials um for it as well so and it does like like i said this is an updated version this kit version of course this is about a four or five year old kid and that doesn't mean it's not going to perform when it's not going to hold up it just means it's an older kid and they haven't probably needed to do too many updates to it since then but i don't know but um anyway it does come with a 17 millimeter hex on there uh the tires as you guys can see here are kind of a pin spike in a way so one run on a super speed saturday is probably going to run these down so i probably won't run these on road i'll probably use some on road tires for it but the compound in this stuff from these look feels pretty good i mean it it doesn't feel bad. It is a soft, it is a soft compound. This is actually almost, it feels almost like a racing compound, um, tire, but, um, this would actually be good for running on dirt and stuff. So anyway, we'll put these through the test, um, and get that. And real quick, looking at our bag of goodies that we got here, uh, let's see what we got up in here. So I did see that they do, and yep, they did, um, include two center diffs. So they include two completely assembled center diffs. There's one inside the truck, and we'll look at that in just a minute. And then there's this other one. You guys see there, this says, uh, 49 teeth. So this is a 49 tooth one here. And I believe when they did this, they started running the truck on 6S. If you run 6S, they want you to put this in here with a smaller, and that is a small pinion gear in there. I don't know, so that looks like about 11, 12 teeth, 10 teeth. I'm not sure. It doesn't have writing on there that I can't see. But if I was to run on 6S, which I'm probably just going to run this on 4S, um, I would put this in there. But who knows? We may do a 6S run. Um, also have over here, we got some sway bars, um, which, okay, that's not assembled on there. So that goes to the kit assembly. But it's, it's assembled, guys, and I'm glad it is. So, And then we have the standard pinion gear, which is what they recommend if you run this on 4S. So... I'll probably put a 2000 KV motor in. I'll probably just run this on force. I don't plan on really um, trying to make this a speed truck or anything like that. So, and then of course you get uh, a couple of tools in here and stuff, and then your servo horn and stuff like that. So, uh, nothing like to write home about, but it does give you a couple of tools. It doesn't give you anything to take the tire and wheel off with, unless that's supposed to fit on there. But I, I don't know. But I'm just happy I got it because it's. I've been looking at this and kind of wanting one for a while. So. Get this body clips off of here. I like how they have this metal piece there for that. Um, some of the weak points on this I know is um, the front body or the front um, body mounts are kind of weak on this that I've seen people 
jumping and a friend had one of these a while back. You checked my channel. He had one and he was kind of jumping and he flipped it a couple of times and it did break. So um, I do got a couple extra spare parts for that. That looks pretty good up in there, y'all. Look at that. Nice metal chassis. And look at this. They even give you an aluminum chassis brace, front and rear. So that's good. It's, I haven't seen that um, in any ready to run car. So that's that's good right there that they're doing that. Most of the time it's going to be plastic. I guess manufacturers try to save money and stuff like that on it. But the layout of it looks pretty good. It's pretty basic, but this stuff does, well, basic meaning basic for a scale truggy, but I don't want to put it under the bus. Um, but it does have a lot of aluminum components and stuff you guys see up in there. So um, it should be pretty beefy and it should hold up pretty well. I think people have periodically broken A arms and stuff, but you guys see that it does come with, um, threaded aluminum body shocks, which is good. Um, with that, and you guys see that the shock towers are aluminum as well. Um, I'm probably going to run it without the sway bars and then I'll put the sway bars on just to give that a quick run as well. And just trying to fill this real quick. Um, I'll have to check that because I, I believe I read somewhere that this was going to be 300 in here. That's pretty thick. Um, for this, I prefer to use on my truggies about a hundred. And then do like 50 in the front, 40 in the rear. But we'll see how this kind of uh, fans out and runs. So I am going to put, like I said, a 4S system. And I'm probably just going to go with a 2000 kV motor. And then just a 100, probably a 100 amp speed controller that I'm going to use in here um, as well. Just so I can run it on 3 and 4. Because I don't plan on, like I said, making this a speed truck. I got plenty of fast speed, uh, big truckies and stuff like that. But the layout of this looks pretty good. I mean... Looking at the plastic and stuff on the arms, they do look pretty beefy. Um, I can bend flex that a little bit, but I don't plan on, like I said, uh, taking this to the skate park or anything like that. I'm taking a under look at the chassis here. That looks pretty good as well. So one thing I am thinking about is lipos. I don't know if this is big enough to fit my forest lipos. It may either sit on the top of the angle. I may have to trim this or... Trim it up front just to make sure I can fit my longer lipos, 4S lipos in here. But I'll be doing a probably a 3S run and then a 4S run. And this pinion gear I'm looking at is pretty big here. Uh, let's see. It doesn't have any markings on it. I guess if someone, because I've had people f freeze the camera before and come back in the comments and say, Hey, man, that's 18 to if you said it was a 17. <laughs> so I didn't get a chance to really count this. But uh, it looks to be between probably about an 18 or something like that. But we'll get this in here and we'll run this like this is here. And then if I leave it on 4S, I may go ahead and put this. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Spare differential or spare center diff, that's always good to have. And I got an extra pinion gear. So I think that's pretty good they give that to you. As far as servos, I'm not sure what server I'm going to use. Probably going to be a basic servo too as well. I'm not going to put a lot of um, expensive electronics in this because I do want to make this, believe it or not, a 3 or 4S truggy. Because I do kind of want to run this against some of my other 4S cars like my Traxxas Max um, and the Kaiju, which I'll get out and stuff like that, the Creighton, et cetera, et cetera. So I do kind of want to make this a 3 slash 4S truck with an aluminum chassis to kind of run out there. So um, as far as the body and stuff is concerned, I'll probably tape the inside of it. Um, doesn't feel too cheap, but I still want to make sure that if I do flip it, that it's not going to bust up or anything like that. So guys, that is that. I know this is a kind of a quick unboxing of this. Try to get this body on here. Come on, kid. <laughs> I know you're like, pose the camera, pose the camera. Then put it on there. <laughs> All right, we got it. <laughs> so that's going to be a look at this real quick. Um, I'll get the tires and wheels on. And it'll probably take me a couple of days to get my electronics and stuff in this to get this running. But I am excited to get this running to have another 3 slash 4S um, vehicle to run. And one that's going to have like aluminum chassis, big bore shocks and stuff like that on it. So we'll get this out and put, once we do a couple of runs, uh, put it against. Man, that is tight. I, I don't know. There should be some spacers or something in there. Um, we'll have to probably run this in the air or something to, to loosen up. That's like it's a little bit tight. <laughs> but anyway, we'll get this out, um, get it all, stick it up, get tires and stuff on it, put a system in it, and get this out running pretty soon. So, you guys, if you have one of these or had one, uh, put your comments down below on some of the issues you may have had or some of the modifications you may have done to it. Also, um, I'm probably going to put a bigger bumper on the front of this as well because you guys see. Um, if I hit something, that's just going to tear it up. So I am probably going to put a bigger bumper on here while I'm uh, putting all this other stuff on here. So anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.